Hello friends this is professor Krunal K Punjani from Dr V N Bedekar Institute of Management Studies Today morning I was searching something from my old stuff and I found an old pair of earphones so I was trying to straighten its entangled and twisted wire However while doing this I realized that through some kind of innovation several improvements have been done in the earphones I recollect that some companies came up with earphones having tangleless and thick wire. Then, after few years, wireless earphones were launched, which were designed like a neck pillow. And then, few other companies came up with true wireless earphones with no wire at all. Thus, we can observe several such innovations across different product categories. But is innovation only about some breakthrough or out of the box ideas which suddenly comes to the mind or can there be a systematic process for the innovation yes innovation can be done by following a systematic process and in this video we will try to develop some basic understanding about one such process that is design thinking Let us first begin with a small story. Nandi Foundation, a social sector organization in India, identified a need for safe and clean drinking water in a village near Hyderabad, where it observed that people had no alternative but to use the water from nearby borehole, which was not safe for the consumption. And therefore, Nandi Foundation started. a community water treatment plant to provide safe and clean drinking water for the villagers this water plant offered 5 gallons that is around 20 liters of water at an affordable price of rupees 10 only a very good social innovation indeed and several villagers started using this water regularly however there were some other villagers especially women who were still using that same borehole water even after knowing that it was unsafe to consume when asked about the reasons for not using the safe water this women villagers had quite unique and logical reasons it was not about any affordability or accessibility issues but according to them there were issues in the overall design of the system let us try to understand this design issues first the water plant used to provide 5 gallons of water in a rectangular water container and when this container was filled with the water it became too heavy for this woman to carry further this rectangular containers were not designed to held on the hip or on the head where this women generally carry heavy objects according to them it was feasible for the families who on bike or cycle through which male members can carry this heavy water container moreover this women also had issue with its payment model nandi foundation had developed a prepaid punch card system for which this villagers were required to pay an advance payment for the whole month this was to encourage the regular usage of this safe water and overall functioning of the water plant however according to this women around 3 gallons of water was sufficient for their family needs but as per the nandi foundation's model they need to take and pay for 5 gallons of water every day for the entire month which created a feeling of why should i pay more for something i actually do not require thus nandi foundation developed and started a very good social innovation by setting up water treatment plant to produce clean and safe drinking water which benefited several people living in that village however 
it missed the opportunity to design an even better system because they failed to consider the culture and the needs of the other needy people living in that village so from this story we can analyze that it is not only important to design a product or a solution which looks good or seems to be good but at the same time it must also consider the user's perspective understand their existing pain points as well as the probable problems they may face while using the newly designed product by conducting prototype test this is where the concept of design thinking comes into the picture design thinking is a creative systematic and a user centric problem solving process i would like to repeat it is a creative systematic and a user centric problem solving process it is simply about creating a product your consumers will love to use it enables managers to think like designers while developing the product idea this design thinking process includes five steps the first step is to empathize where the managers need to empathize with their target consumers and understand and observe three things first who the users are second what are their pain points and third what are their needs for this managers are required to interact with them and understand how they think act and feel the second step of the process is define where the managers are required to define specific and core problem by analyzing the observations and information they have gathered in the first step third step is ideate in this step managers are required to generate ideas which can resolve the problem defined in the second step with the users in mind this can be done in collaboration with the colleagues of the different departments or interacting with the experts furthermore several ideation techniques can also be used such as brainstorming worst possible idea or brain writing at the beginning of this ideation phase it is important to get as many ideas as possible which at a later part can be analyzed and shortlisted further the fourth step is prototype at this step the product design team is expected to create something tangible which can be tested on a small group of actual users to take their feedback and reviews in this step product design team gets a clearer view of how the real users would behave think and feel while using the end product and the fifth and final step is test in this final step product design team along with the managers rigorously test the complete product using the best solutions identified during the previous step of prototyping this ends this design thinking process i hope in this video you have got the answers of what is design thinking and why it is important in the next video we will discuss few practical stories where few companies utilized design thinking successfully till then keep learning keep experimenting and keep innovating looking forward to see you in my next video thank you